This is Anne at Avocado, and we are going to walk through today how to start using chat on your website in under five minutes. So the first step of this is to just decide who on your team is going to be handling these chat messages. In Avocado, you want to make sure that you've added them to your auto assignment roster. So you're going to come into your settings and add the live chat ability for each of the users that you want to chat. You should also be aware that you can set different limits based on how many conversations you expect those users to handle at a time. I'm going to mark myself as available, so that means that new chats that come in will automatically be assigned to me. Next, I'm going to set up our office hours this is important because you're not going to be able to offer 24 hour support necessarily. And so for those times when you aren't in the office, you wanna make sure that the behavior is appropriate so that your customers aren't left waiting around. The last step of this is to configure your website widget. We've already set one up here with all sorts of customizations and colors appropriate to our branding. You should feel free to personalize yours. The last step is just to enable live chat. On this widget, we have both the option to send a text or to send a live chat message. The other thing to call out is that outside of office hours, like I mentioned, we don't offer live chat because we don't want someone to write in and not be able to talk to a real person, but people can still leave their phone number and we'll get back to them the next day. So we want to also make sure that the responses that we send are appropriate to that. This is the last step before we're going to take this snippet and place it inside of our website. For the purposes of this demo, we're doing this on a WordPress hosted website. You could do this on any website really, but just for ease of use, I'm gonna put it into our themes header um, any header file that you're using on your website should work. So I've already got this pasted in here, but I'm just going to put right back in that snippet that I just updated. Hit save. And that is all it really takes to get us up and chatting. Here we go. Open up the chat widget. As you can see, all of our configuration is there. Um, I'm actually gonna name myself customer instead, just so that this is a little bit clearer. Sometimes I talk to myself, but today we can pretend I'm not. And then come on in with a phone number, but this is someone who wants to talk to us urgently. They don't necessarily wanna chat. They just want to start the conversation right away. And so they're gonna choose to start live chat instead. So here it comes in. We got that auto response that I just showed you how to program with a smiley face. Back in here, um, because I am available and I have the live chat seat, this conversation got assigned to me directly. Now, because I only have one maximum that I can take at a time, if another conversation comes in, it'll wait in queue. So that's an important part of this, making sure that you have the right number that is appropriate so that you don't keep people waiting, but you also have the bandwidth to take care of the number of conversations at a given time. So here I'm just gonna send a response. And as you can see on the customer's end of things, that response comes through. And there we have it, chat in under five minutes.